greetings everybody welcome back to my youtube channel this is user matthew gutierrez here coming to you guys with another room tour today we're here at the harris las vegas in the mountain tower we're going to tour room number 49001 let's go all right so we're going to start things off right here in the security department as you saw i just turned that latch there so we have a locking deadbolt latch and as you see here when you get in the room you put your room key right here here in all the hallway light all right guys so let's start off here at the security department first we have a very clearable clearly readable fire map <laughs> and of course can't forget the people and we got deadbolt we got a room occupied sign it looks like we're very taking good care of here in the security department now when we enter the room right to your immediate left you'll see a mirror here's me hey guys as you guys can tell i'm filming guys on my new iPhone 13 Pro. I just got this phone about a month ago, and you know what? It's a great phone. You can see, Matthew, why are you holding an ice bucket in your hands? Well, guess what, guys? I was going to go get ice, but I said, you know what? It's a perfect time to film a hotel tour, so let's do it. I'm going to put this bucket down, and we're going to go tour the rest of this room, guys. So we are in a One King Mountain Tower suite. It's a mouthful. Again, guest room 49001. I have been in this room, guys, for about a couple days i got here on sunday may 15th so um yeah so as you guys can see here uh this is the bed it's a one king bed it's very soft and you know jacob i already pulled back the bed sheets and checked the mattress and let me tell you this brand new mattress mattress protector everything's washed these guys do an excellent job now i did have a couple housekeeping issues when i got here to the property and i checked in on sunday but you know what when i got here and I informed housekeeping, hey, I have an issue. They sent someone up right away. They fixed it. And they even gave me a $30 food and beverage credit just to apologize. That's what you call service. Pillows. These are feather. They're feather foam pillows. They're like feather to me. They're very soft, very comfortable. As you guys notice, I have six because I like extra pillows when I'm in a hotel. And as you guys can tell, uh, right here, pardon the, uh, the mess, I like to keep napkins at my bedside in case I have to blow my nose. Uh, right here, guys, is the hotel telephone. Now, as you guys remember, at my last uh, hotel tour at the Hampton Inn Suites, Albuquerque North in Albuquerque, the phone didn't work. So check this phone out, guys. It is a Patel. Um, this phone actually works. No new messages. See, phone works. And as you guys can tell right here, there's uh, some electrical ports by the bedside. And this one right here turns off the light behind the bed. And each bedside has these two little orb lights. And everything here is very clean and is in really good shape. There's my books. And here's everybody's favorite part. Now, just for copyright reasons, I will turn the TV off. I did have to turn it on and um, mute the sound just so I don't get a copyright strike from YouTube. Let me grab the remote and I'll show you guys the part that says my name on it. Let me do menu. There it is. See, there's my name. Here's where I'm staying. Here's the local time and date and temperature. Yes, guys, we have been we hit triple digits yesterday. We hit 110 degrees here in Las Vegas. And this TV does everything. You know, you can't. There's no room service anymore because it's provided by Uber Eats now. Uh, you got live TV. You got kids and family on demand. You got guest services. I can see the account and i can check out i can sell tv wake up where this turns out to be an alarm clock here's the current temperature for the rest of the week it's very nice as you guys notice i said wake up time why because look 
there is no clocks in these rooms anymore because most of us use our cell phones. I'm going to go ahead and exit that menu. And you guys see how here it says, it says text Ivy? Well, guess what? Ivy happens to be a digital concierge. Ivy basically you text her and she communicates with the rest of the hotel so you can check out, you can get room service, through Uber Eats she'll send you the code how to order, she'll request supplies, she'll contact the front desk, security, whatever you need. So let's go and check out the rest of the tour. Uh, there's my grip, there's my hat, and as you guys saw in the mirror I went to the King and Country concert. So there's my hat. And there's the drawers. Now, as you guys notice, there's no mini fridge in here, which you actually don't need it. You got an ice bucket in here. I got extra towels and extra amenities. They left me a ton here. So we're gonna demonstrate that the safe works. I'm just gonna open it and I'm gonna clear the code that I use for the safe just so way nobody can get into my safe. There's my keys and personal stuff. So let's demonstrate. Perfect. See? Now I'm going to relock my safe since I have stuff in there. Over here is my, it's not a MacBook crackbook, it's a MacBook Air. There's me, one of my good friends from one of my clubs I work with. Her name is Vanessa. Shout out to Vanessa and to Best Buddies New Mexico and Civitan International and Rio Rancho Sea Vision Civitan Club. Shout out to you guys. As you guys can see right here, I got my shaver. I got my player's cards. I have gone all around. These are the two most frequent ones I'm using right now. Um, here is the one for Westgate, and here's the one for uh, Bally's. And as you guys can tell, there is no shortage of wall plugs here, guys. You have plenty, plenty, plenty of wall plugs. You got some down there. You got one here where I have my laptop. You even have a USB charger, which I use to charge my Mophies. And also, you got a spare one right there behind the TV. See, got a light. And yes, I, I know people are going to get upset in the comments, but... Uh, they do not allow you to smoke in rooms still. Doesn't matter if marijuana is legal or not, you cannot smoke in these rooms. If you do and they catch it, it is a $500 charge to your folio. And they don't mess around. A guest in another one of my rooms down the hill for me here, down the hall, uh, smoked in his room. And you can tell he's visibly upset because they actually sent security because the smoke detector is also a marijuana detector. It went off and they had security dispatched to his room. So. So here's the main part of the room, guys. And like I said, you have these on both sides. You have an in-wall PTAC unit. Presently, I have it set at, let me turn this light off really quick so you guys can see it. 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Fans on full blast, because it is absolutely sweltering hot. I just walked the strip today. And we're gonna take a look outside these curtains and we'll see what view I got. We got a big window. you used to be able to go out on this balcony but they actually took off the handle so if you look right out here you got people chilling and relaxing and sweating all day at the pool you got your day beds and over here in the sweltering heat you got your pool beds as you guys know the pool is not full uh, best time to go here is the pool opens at 6 a.m. Best time is early morning when it's nice and cool out. So if you want to chill at the pool before it gets hot, best time to go is in the early morning. So that's the um, view you get. And right now, guys, we're looking at a couple hotels right off the bat. That's the Link Hotel and Experience. Right ahead, you got the Flamingo. So folks says you got the Cosmopolitan. There's the other part of the Link building. You got Caesar's Palace. And straight ahead, if I can zoom in right, that is the Park MGM. Um, I don't know what that property used to be. So we'll zoom out. 
Okay, so now we're moving on. So yeah, even with the lights on in here, this room is extremely beautiful. You got a beautiful wall painting, got not a fire alarm strobe, but you have a speaker which connects to the hotel's PA and fire alarm system. Got a smoke uh, detector and sprinkler. Sprinkler has a cap to prevent people from hanging stuff. Uh, as we know, that's a big penalty in hotels. <laughs> And now let's take a look at the restroom. So here in the restroom, we got a big mirror that's lighted. Hello, guys. And for you light enthusiasts, I'm going to turn all the lights off. I'm going to watch them reboot for you guys. So that way you guys can see this. I'm going to go back a little bit. Rapid start fluorescent. All right, guys. Now we're moving on. So I've got my uh, bathroom spray right there. And they leave you facial soap, which is also can be hand soap. And you got body lotion. It's a Jose Ebed. Ebert Ebed. I probably just horribly butchered that. <laughs> Here is your sink. You got cold, hot, and this thing heats up really fast. And you know what? You got a plunger or a steam stopper. And there's set. You have a couple, you have some towels, washcloths, long towels. And before we move on, these guys are very, very focused on taking care of the plants. So good job, Caesars Palace, for being so conscious about the environment. So during your stay, they'll only change your bed sheets if you ask them to. Towels are left on the floor or replaced for fresh towels. So if you want to use them again, you put them back on this rack and they won't change them. Also, they ask that you turn off all down essential lights and adjust the thermostat back to the original setting to conserve energy. And for all you toilet fans, well, I'll go ahead and flush it. Before we do, let's see what it is. Got an American Standard. Nice. Now you guys probably noticed we don't have a closet. Well, ta-da! Right there, you got an ironing board, an iron, and you got plenty of storage up there. And this, this door does lock. Okay. And uh, for the hotel, you actually don't get the little squeezy balls anymore. You get the little wall dispenser units of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I've used them during my stay so far and they're great. Right here is a bath mat. And I got my stuff up there. So guys, we're gonna do a demonstration. As you guys tell, this door, this shower does not have a door. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here. On the other side is glass. So that way I don't spray my $2,000 phone. Here we go. And you know guys, it's got different settings on it and they all work amazing. Okay. Whoopsie. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna step over this ledge here without getting my feet too wet. So, let's see what this setting does. Okay, I just wet the whole side of my pants. <laughs> okay, step on this side of the glass. Got a different spray pattern. Let's see what this one does. Get a little more intense, and then we'll put it back. I'm the one I usually leave it on. But yeah, guys, and oh yeah, you got some more towels down there. You got uh, your toilet paper. All right, guys, let's go see what the rest of the room has. So, guys, yeah, that's the room. Harris Las Vegas, guys, is very nice. I think I pay. Oh goodness, I think it's one nineteen. Let's see. Uh, go to menu. And we're just going to scroll down to guest services. And I'll show you guys what the 
daily charge for them is now mind you the reason why I'm paying so low is because I actually booked this hotel a year in advance so I got a smoking deal when I booked here as you guys can see check outs available before the noon up oh, here's my check so the part where it says room T it has my room number that's the daily charge and then there's taxes so about 40 something dollars a day and you know you can charge to the room and I did prepay for the week so that's why I have a negative balance on the top of the screen right there so as the days go by when I leave the only thing I have to pay the hotel is what I charge to the to the room okay so that's pretty cool anyways guys so that is it that is your tour of your one king mountain mountain tower suite at the Harris Las Vegas room number 49001 wow guys we get an amazing deal here now first round I would have driven guys <laughs> but that's about eight hour drive from Albuquerque New Mexico to here so I got to fly guys I flew Delta Airlines first class sky priority to here had to connect in Salt Lake but you know it was an amazing flight shout out to Delta Airlines as well you guys rock thank you guys for making this trip easy and thank you for all the friends and family that have um, they gave me money on my birthday to make this trip even more possible it's absolutely been a blessing Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and head out to the casino floor, going to go play some slot games, have some fun. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you guys in San Antonio, Texas in July for a tour of the Weston Riverwalk Hotel. We'll see you guys there. Until we see you, bless guys, God bless you, have a good day.